What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing what if Jason Tatum had landed on the Philadelphia 76ers. In the video make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also drop a like on the video as well man I'm out here grinding on pre-recording videos right before I go on vacation drop a like it makes me feel so appreciated because I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever understand. Other than that guys we're going to go ahead and do a Philadelphia 76ers rebuild so uh, with Jason Tatum on the roster, of course. Now, quick disclaimer I want to say is, yes, the 76ers traded up to the first overall pick and the Celtics had it, but the Celtics say, and Markel Fultz was the uh, unanimous number one overall projected pick at the time. The Celtics say they still would have taken Jason Tatum at number one. We will never know if that was true or not. So had the Philadelphia 76ers stay at, at number three, maybe never made that trade, or if the 76ers just simply drafted Jason Tatum instead of Markel Fultz, then there's that as well. So I actually just now thought about that in my head because the 76ers trade up to number one. So I was thinking like, I don't know even know what I was thinking. But nonetheless, Jason Tatum is on the 76ers. So yeah, how would this have team panned out with Jason Tatum instead of Ben or instead of uh, Markel Fultz? Because Ben Simmons has been the point guard here. So Markel Fultz never really fit, which is what led to him getting traded. So let's just go ahead and look at the starting five as it is. So we have... Ben Simmons, Robert Covington at the two, Jason Tatum at the three, Darius Sarge at the four, Joel Embiid, J.J. Redick as the six man, Ursula Yosova, Rashawn Holmes, and T.J. McConnell, and Amir Johnson. So yeah, definitely interesting. I'm going to go ahead and move this to a nine-man rotation. I do like the idea of Covington starting, but for over J.J. Redick, who was so important that, that first year, I don't know if I can do it. So uh, in Philly, I'm going to go ahead and start J.J. Redick. And we're going to just see how a team of Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, and Joel Embiid would really do, man. I'm very excited to see how this team would have panned out. Obviously, defense is not a good system for this team. So we're going to go ahead and move to a balanced rating and change Brett Brown to balance. So other than that, guys, no moves this first season. I just want to simply see how this team would have done if they would have drafted Jason Tatum over Markel Foles. So at the end of the first season, Stephen Curry is your MVP. Harry Giles is your rookie of the year, uh, interestingly enough. Jeremy Lin is your sixth man on the Brooklyn Nets. We have LeBron James as your defensive player of the year on the Cavaliers. Ricky Rubio is your most improved player. And Steve Kerr is the coach of the year. Interesting. All-NBA first team is Stephen Curry, Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Giannis. Awesome stuff. All-NBA second team. All-NBA third team. We have Ben Simmons making it here in an all-defensive first team and all-defensive second team. But we are the second seed in the Eastern Conference. We went 54-28, and 28, which is very, very awesome. Let's go ahead and look at the player stats real quick. We had 20.7 from Joel Embiid, 17.5 from Ben Simmons, and 17.4 from Jason Tatum, and 14.4 from JJ Redick. So yeah, this team did really solid, obviously. But let's go ahead and see if we can beat their Charlotte Hornets in the first round. And the greatest thing about this rebuild is that we're going to have cap space on top of all the players we already have. So that's going to be awesome. So, uh, But we are down 3-2, the Charlotte Hornets. And we get eliminated in the first round by the Charlotte Hornets. Well, what were the Hornets looking like anyway back then? They had Kimba, Dwight Howard. I forgot about that. And Jeremy Lamb. So Dwight Howard and Kimba seem to be a very good duo. But I'm not, you know, obviously back then, they I don't even think they made the playoffs together. So whatever, though. Let's go ahead and see who wins the championship here. We have Toronto and Cleveland. And we have Cleveland uh, up. Or uh, Cleveland moves on uh, against Toronto. Obviously, Toronto still can't get past LeBron James, it looks like. But the Golden State Warriors... Are we going to see the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Warriors like we did in real life? And yes, we are. We're, uh, we're going to see who's going to win the championship. 2-2, two, 3-2. Two, two. And the Warriors win the championship in seven games. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into the offseason and see how we can turn this team around. So obviously, it didn't go as planned uh, as far as the playoffs, but we went 54-28. and And we can only build on that. So let's go ahead and get past this. As far as staff signing, we still have Brett Brown as our head coach. I'm going to go ahead and get a different assistant coach. There's a good one out here. We got uh, Otis Newman. I'll go ahead and grab him. And then can we get a good trainer? Randy Martin is here. So we'll go ahead and sign him. Has, yeah, we'll go ahead and get him. And we should be good there. I don't think we had a first round pick. Oh, wait. I loaded the right draft class, right? Hold on. Let me make sure I did. Um, Yes, Luca, DeAndre. Okay, I just made sure. I wanted to make sure I loaded the draft class. If I didn't, I would have been screwed. But we have a lot of second round picks. So we could definitely probably package... Our first, we could probably move up to like maybe, we move up to 13, potentially, get into the lottery. They want Urson for John Luer. That's all you want for me to move to 13? Really? Okay, well, I'll do that. Just trade John Luer. So uh, we just moved all the way up to number 13 from the Clippers. Interesting. 
And I think we might be, be able to package all of our second rounders, get a late first round pick if I'm not, you know, mistaken. Let's go ahead and see if we can. Or we could even move up higher in the draft, maybe, if I wanted to do that. And try to get Luka. That would be insane. Should I try that? I don't know, man. Let's try to get some... Okay, 13th. Let's try to package all of our picks together and move up to, like, top five. I don't know if that's going to be able to work, but I will give it a shot. So, let's see. What? Let's see. Uh, six pick. I'll go for the Kings pick. Let's see if we can get that. And I, actually, this was originally... Okay, so that's not going to work. How about number eight from the Suns? Can we get to number eight? We do. So, we jumped up all the way number eight in the draft. So, let's see... We can grab a number eight. Obviously, we can't get Luca like I thought I was going to, but that's all right. So, um, let's see who's not been taken. So we have Luca, Trey Young, Marvin Bagley, DeAndre Ayton, Jaron Jackson, Che, Lonnie Walker. So uh, let's see who's available and who's left. We have Wendell Carter, Colin Sexton, Michael Porter Jr., Monte May, Kevin Herter, Mohamed Bamba, Kevin Knox, Mikael Bridges, DeAnthony Melton. Um, I'm not really seeing anybody. Landry Shamit. I, actually, this is who the 76ers drafted in real life, interestingly enough. Hamdu Diallo. Do I just take Landry Shamit again? Actually, I took Landry Shamit in the Laurie Markton video, so I kind of want to go with somebody different. Uh, who do I grab? I don't want Wendell. Colin Sexton, move him to the two guard. That might be interesting. 20 years old. Michael Porter Jr. Definitely would be interesting as well, but I don't know how well it would fit since we already have, um, you know, players. So uh, how tall is Michael Porter Jr.? 6'10". Maybe he could play the power forward. You know what? I'll give Michael Porter Jr. a shot. Why not? So we're going to get Michael Porter Jr. at number eight, and he is going to join us. And yes, I could have got Colin Sexton or one of these other guys, but MPJ should be interesting. So welcome to Philly, my friend. We're going to go and accept all of these qualifying offers. And then as far as free agency, Justin Anderson's a free agent. I think the only important free agent we need to worry about is Mr. JJ Redick, which uh, we might be able to just resign him, which we probably can. But I think we should have some cash space, if I'm not mistaken. We could just renounce JJ Redick, $25 million. We might be able to get a very quality starting shooting guard, honestly. So MPJ could probably play power forward or back up Darvin Sarge at power forward or something like that. Tatum could play power forward if need be, but, you know, Michael Porter Jr. is a little bit taller. So as far as the center, uh, shooting guard. I want a shooting guard. Uh, I don't know who would be available for that, but Clay Thompson, man. We could free up $4 million and have Clay Thompson join the shooting guard lineup. Jimmy Butler bring him to Philly like, you know, he was here. Uh, man, Klay Thompson would sound like it's just like the dream, man. I need four, $5 million freed up, though. I don't know if, I can, if I'm going to be able to do that. Let's see. John Luer. I forgot we got him. I forgot we got John Luer's stupid contract. So I'm going to trade him straight to Milwaukee, and we should have some more money. Let's see how much we have now. $35 million. We should be able to offer Klay Thompson a max. So let's go ahead and offer Klay a, a contract. We'll even offer... No, actually, I don't like that fit. Kyrie Irving uh, is not really a two. Jimmy Butler, I'm almost half tempted to just sign him. Uh, Kimba, I could sign him as well. Play him to two guard. Chris Middleton might be decent. Uh, you know, an interesting option to two guard. I'll move. I'll, uh, go ahead and give him an offer. Let's so as far as... I, obviously, the dream is Clay. Let's even get Clay. We can get Clay Thompson. Let's freaking go. Clay Thompson, welcome to Philly, my friend. Welcome to Philadelphia. Awesome stuff. So that's looking pretty good. So one two uh three four five six seven so we probably need some more backups we we have plenty of forwards and we need a backup center and a backup point guard or shooting guard so maybe some uh backup uh, backup guards and some do we have any bird rights left we could get tj mcconnell back you know he wouldn't be bad rashawn holmes we could bring back as well so i'm gonna go ahead and give rashawn holmes a two-year deal i think i'm gonna try to go for somebody else other than tj mcconnell so uh we'll go ahead and go back to the overall so ish Smith. Thomas Sadoransky, TJ McConnell, Derek Rose, Raymond Felton, Quinn Cook. I'm going to go ahead and try to bring Quinn Cook here. And then power forwards. I think we have enough forwards, shooting guards. Could bring KCP here just for offense or even Seth Curry. Or I saw D Wade, I think, but I don't think I'm going to be able to afford D Wade. So I'll go ahead and sign Seth Curry. Let's see if we can get one of those three or all three of them. I mean, all three of them would be nice. And we get, okay, never mind. We don't have enough money, but that's okay. So, man, this is about to look like a good rotation. I'm really liking this. Uh, what this team's about to look like so clay thompson joining philly here is going to be a nice veteran presence around these young guys there's no way we can't win a championship this next season with the ross way this roster is looking man i'm very excited so what i'm gonna do is uh we're gonna get past this and i'm gonna get to the rotation real quick and we're gonna see what this rotation is about to look like this will be the rotation going into the second season we have ben simmons at the point guard position clay thompson at the shooting guard jason tatum at the small forward power forward is darvis sarge joel Embiid is the center Covington, Rashawn Holmes, Quinn Cook, and Michael Porter Jr. getting those last 10 minutes. So that is looking very, 
very nice man so let's go ahead and see what this system proficiency is going to be at we're at a four star rating at balanced can i go up anywhere else it doesn't look like it so we're going to go ahead and just keep it at balanced rating let's just see how this team's going to do man i'm very curious to see how clay thompson would uh pan next to ben simmons i think that's like the perfect fit obviously because ben simmons can't shoot for nothing you have jason tatum Joel Embiid obviously can't shoot either but dario Saric, jason tatum and clay thompson can all make up for their uh lack of shooting so let's just go ahead and see how this second season's gonna go at the end of this second season we have russell westbrook winning mvp luka Doncic is your rookie of the year over on the brooklyn nets zach Levine is your sixth man on the minnesota timberwolves and we have draymond green is your defensive player of the year and eric bledsoe is your most improved player interesting and then billy donovan is your coach of the year so awesome stuff there here's your all nba first team all uh let's go to the all nba second team if i can let's uh stephen curry ben simmons anthony davis so we have uh, ben Simmons and Joel Embiid making it. Do we get a Klay Thompson appearance too? No, we do not. So we are the first seed in the Eastern Conference. We went 59 and 23. Let's go ahead and see what the player stats were looking like. We had 21 from Joel Embiid still, 19 from Ben Simmons, eight and a half rebounds, eight and a half assists. Klay Thompson had eight, 18 as well. And then 17 from Jason Tatum. So yeah, this team definitely just killed it out there. Michael Porter Jr. with seven, Quinn Cook with five. So yeah, I mean, there's no way we can't win a championship this season, right? So let's go ahead and see what the Pistons are looking like before we go ahead and crush them real quick. Uh, Blake Griffin, Andre Drummond, Reggie Jackson, Mario Hazonia. Why is Mario Hazonia an 82 overall? I have no idea. Actually, maybe it's because he was drafted that year, and so he had some uh, young play or you know, he was a, a young player that just got a lot of progression. So Detroit jumps up 1-0 on us, despite us being a super team at this point. 2-1. We go up 3-1. No, 2-2. If we lose to Detroit in the first round, dude, I'm walking out of this room right now. Okay, we went in six. All right, so now we're going to be facing the Toronto Raptors. Let's go and see what the Raptors are looking like nowadays. They have DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, Jonas Valanciunas, Pascal, Serge. So yeah, their team is definitely pretty good, but our team is better. So let's see if we can beat Toronto. They jumped up 1-0 on us, but they're up 2-1 now. 3-1. Uh, are we going to lose in the second round? Wow. Okay, so we lose in the second round. Whoa, man. Was not expecting that. So... What I'm going to do is probably just run it back another season. I don't see the point of changing anything because we just went 59 to 23. Yes, we lost to Toronto and our players are only going to progress even more. And Milwaukee wins the championship with Giannis Antetokounmpo leading the way. Let's just get into this offseason. I know we're going to have to re-sign Ben Simmons, I believe, who is uh, on the last year of his rookie deal. Uh, let's go ahead and see what, the, what it's looking like out here. But we end up with the 28th pick overall. I can live with that. Brett Brown looking pretty good there, but let's go ahead. Uh, should I have fired Brett Brown? Should I have fired Brett Brown? Let's go ahead and see. just should I just like maximize my potential and just fire him just in case? I guess I will. Actually, I can't fire him yet, so maybe I'll just do it at the beginning of the season. I don't know, man. Maybe I won't do it at all. So uh, let's go to the draft. We have the 28th pick overall in two seconds. We could just move up in the draft again and get a good bench player because i know the draft so i'm gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna just move up and get like a high mid first round pick is what i'm gonna try to do so let's see if we can do that um let's go to 13 from the knicks okay they don't want to do that all right how about 14 from the wizards okay no all right i'm just gonna keep going down the list until we can get first round pick 15 from the suns no okay how about let's go 21 from the raptors Okay, so we get the 21st pick. I'll live with that. So let's go ahead and see what is at the 21st pick and what we can grab to maybe be a potential good bench player. We have Brandon Clark, Tyler Harrow. Going to take Tyler Harrow out of Kentucky. So that's looking pretty good. Good shooter. And I think he fits here nicely. Going to be mentored by Clay Thompson and stuff. So we'll do that. Play and then player options. Let's see what we got. Dario Sarge might be a free agent too. Firkin, Cork, Mass. Uh, qualifying offers. Ben Simmons and Dario Sarge are both free agents. TLC I'm not as worried about. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let's see, we got one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, we basically just need to bring back Dario Saric and Ben Simmons and we'll be all good. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and just see much at the end of next year where hopefully that next year is the year we win a championship here in Philly. At the end of this last season, we went 52 and 30. We are the second seed in the Eastern Conference. Let's go ahead and see what the stats were looking like. We had 19.8 from Joel Embiid, 19.1 from Jason Tatum. 18 18 i mean this has got to be the year right so we are facing the boston celtics in the first round we went 41 and 41 we're up 1-0 on them 2-0 can we just sweep these guys nope 2-1 i can never sweep anybody anymore man i'm just it's never it just never happens we do beat them in five games 
I always beat player or I always beat teams in at least five games. But we're facing who are we facing? The Wizards. All right, so let's go and look at the Celtics. We're looking like real quick. They had Kyrie, Gordon Hayward, Jalen Brown. So they have themselves a nice team as well. But we're facing the Wizards. John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, Oubre. I mean, we should be able to beat this team, right? So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Uh, we're up 1-0 to start. Can we go up 2-0? Can we 3-0? And can we sweep? Can we please sweep? And we finally swept somebody. Are we going to face or face the Milwaukee Bucks? Uh, this should be an interesting matchup. And this very well could be the Eastern Conference Finals next year as well. But we should be able to beat this team. Giannis is the only one that's going to give us issues. They're up 1-0. Please don't. Okay. 1-1. Uh, one, one. They're up 2-1. Can we even it up? 2-2. Two, two. Can we go up 3-2? No, they do. So let's go to go ahead and go to SimCast. We are at home for this game six. We should be able to beat this team, man. We have ourselves a super team. Like, there's a lot of scores on our roster. And it looks like we're going to be able to beat them. We just need to clamp up Giannis, and we should be good. But now we're going to a game seven on their home floor. So this is going to be in hostile territory. But hopefully, we're able to take it here. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. 38 points in the first quarter. Come on, man. Hold the lead. Hold the lead. Hold the lead. And just like that, we are on to the NBA Finals. And we get to face the Houston Rockets or the Los Angeles Lakers. And we will be facing the Lakers. Uh, all right, so let's see what the Lakers are looking like. They have DeMarcus Cousins, Brandon Ingram, so no LeBron James, of course. Uh, but they do have themselves a pretty nice team. Josh Hart's an 88 overall for some reason. But let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Los Angeles Lakers. 1-0, 2-1. Uh, can we go up 3-1? 3-2 for us? No, they're up 3-2. So we're going to have to come back again. We're at, game, we're at home for game six. Let's go ahead and see if we can beat the Lakers. We are up to start. And uh, we are winning. Oh, we're coasting away with this one. So we're forcing the game seven. So, can we go ahead, win in Lakers territory, and win a championship here and hoist a trophy in Los Angeles? It's not looking good, man. Not, I'm not going to lie to you. This is a blowout. So, unfortunately, we will lose here. We made it to Game 7, but we will lose, and Lakers will win the championship. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. This was just a fun little video. I hope you guys did enjoy. This is what Philly might have been if they were able to just draft Jason Tatum over Markel Fultz. I think Jason Tatum obviously would have been a seamless fit next to Ben Simmons instead of Markel Fultz. Let me know what you guys think with this Crushables, and I'm saying peace.